Hi, welcome to the third episode on Rasas. Till now we have learned about the theory of Rasas and have a descriptive information about the three Rasas. In this episode, we will go on further and learn about each and every Rasa in a descriptive way. The next Rasa is Karuna Ras. It means compassion, mercy. The presiding deity is Yam and the color relation is grey. So what is Karuna Ras? Highest Karuna is compassion. In Sanskrit, Karuna means sadness. Sadness is a feeling that comes in us when we have to let go of our attachments. Fifth Rasa is Bhibhatsam Ras. It means disgust. The presiding deity is Lord Shiva and the color relation is blue. What is Bhibhatsam Ras? It means the feeling of disgust with oneself or towards the others. Using bad manners, bad language, vulgar language, having bad intentions towards others and having a bad feeling inside us for ourselves or for others is, are all the manifestations of the Bhibhatsam Ras. So the next Rasa is Bihanak Ras. It means horror or we can say terror. The presiding deity is Kal and the color relation is black. So what is Bihanak Ras? It means the feeling of fearfulness and severe anxiety. Fear is almost every time generated because of the ignorance. When our mind doesn't know something, it only says or think what it can do. Mind can only imagine fearful things. We can also say that fear is the only natural protection that keeps us away from the harm. The next rasa is Veeras. It means heroic. The presiding deity of this rasa is Indra and the color relation is yellow. So what is Veerasa? Veerasa is the feeling of heroism, fearfulness, determination and the perfect control of body and mind. There is a very thin line between courage and pride and arrogance. For the pure we Ras, our ego must be in control. So the next and the eighth Rasa is Adbhut Ras. It means the feeling of amazement. The presiding deity of this Rasa is Brahma and the color relation is yellow. So what is Adbhut Ras? It means the feeling of curiosity, amazement and astonishment. From the dawn of the mankind, or we can say from the dawn of the civilization, mankind are always tried to find the real truth and are still trying to find the real truth. It is the feeling that comes in the beginning of the spiritual journey to find the real truth of the life, find the joy of the real life. So our ninth and the last rasa is Shantras. It means peace. The presiding deity of this rasa is Lord Vishnu and the color relation is blue. This rasa is most of the time preference for sadhus, saints and yogis. But everyone at some point of time in their life feels some calmness and experiences some relaxation. For the real peace our body, mind, intellect and ego must be in control. So this would be the end of my audio video personal project. In this project we talked about rasas, the theory of nine rasas in the Indian traditional art. Thank you.